never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one-way track, now I. Today is Thursday. Not sure when I'm actually gonna be able to get this video up, hopefully soon, but just another day in the life of a mama who is quarantined in her house with her two kids. Um, I'm just gonna vlog today and we'll see what happens. Quentin wants to say hello. He's having a little snack. Can you say hi? Can you wave? Wave and say hi. Say hi. Go ahead. Yeah, good job. So, um, I'm a bit busy today in terms of just like getting things done for Instagram. I need to do a couple try-ons. I have two giveaways going up on my Instagram that I am super excited about. Right now, Camden is watching a little bit of Muppet Babies and having a snack. I'm about to make him some lunch though. I still don't know what I'm gonna do as far as his nap. Like his naps are like hit or miss. Some days he will nap and he'll nap for a really long time and then it runs into his bedtime, which is horrible. And some days he just skips it all together. But I I was actually talking to my girlfriends last night on Zoom, my college girlfriends. It's the first time I've used Zoom. It was really cool, but kind of weird. Cause I kept staring at myself and how weird I looked in the camera. Uh, I wish they had filters on there, but Anyway, I had um, a Zoom chat with my girlfriends and we were talking about like our kids' bedtimes and I was telling them how like Cam goes to bed because he was still up and it was like past 10 and they were like, what is he doing up? And I was like, I don't know, lately like he just won't go to bed. So like his bedtime's usually nine, which I know is super late and I would love to push it to eight. I just haven't been able to, um, but he usually goes down around nine, but he doesn't actually fall asleep until like 10 or 11. And it's crazy like he'll just play in his room and he's like restless and he can't fall asleep and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that like the bedtime routine that Alex does with him is so wild and crazy like they literally are like chasing each other around the house like playing games like he's getting really hyped up and I think that he's so wound up at night that he literally can't relax and fall asleep and I know that usually they say for like babies and toddlers and little kids you want to do something relaxing before they go to bed like their bedtime routine should be like a warm bath and like a book and like you're supposed to be winding down so that your brain is nice and relaxed and that's not the case with the bedtime routine for cam and i've told alex so many times that like he needs to switch it up and he's like no like i want to play with him like we like our games like it's fun for us and he looks forward to it and i'm like okay that's fine but like maybe bedtime routine should be like an hour before he actually has to go to sleep I don't know. I need to think of something to do. Let me know in the comments what your bedtime routine for your four-year-olds or three-year-olds consists of because I just feel so bad that he is staying awake that late. It's not good for him. And then he gets up usually between like probably around 8 or 8.30 in the morning. And his nap time is around 2, which my mom keeps telling me is way too late. If he's waking up at 8, 8.30 in the morning, his nap time should be like, I don't know, 11 or 12, which is probably true. I just never feel like he's ready for a nap around noon. I feel like, I don't know. Even if like we have to start like taking out the naps, which is gonna be so hard for me. But even if um, he's over naps, I just need to get him in bed. I feel like at least by eight. I feel like eight is a decent bedtime. You want some lunch? Huh? So we had a delivery come in last night from Giant. I just got, um, like a Peapod delivery, so they dropped it off, but they only delivered half of the groceries that I had ordered because they were out of stock. So that kind of sucks. We needed a lot more than this, but we have, we have like the necessities, like we're fine. We got my hands on some chicken. We actually were able to freeze a bunch of chicken too, because you guys know we love our chicken. We make it like every single night pretty much for dinner. So we're pretty good on chicken for a while. Oh, this is something I ordered on Amazon Fresh. 
It's like an Oprah like meal chicken alfredo it had really good reviews so i just decided to grab it and we can try it out this weekend or something and then i bought cam some chicken nuggets but we've never tried the ian's but they're like gluten-free wheat-free no eggs no milk peanuts or tree nuts soy all of that so really good with kids with allergies um, and since he's allergic to tree nuts, I decided to try these out because they were sold out of the ones he usually eats, which are like the Kid Fresh ones. Um, and I think I showed this before. This is the P.F. Chang's Mongolian style beef. I got this just to have, you know, just to have in the freezer. So I picked this up. I wanted to show you guys this. So we had this last weekend, the Kala Power Pizza. Alex wasn't a big fan, but I thought it was so good. Like, I really liked the flavor. It was really good, too. Um, so I picked another one up. I got the three cheese. I'm not sure what kind last weekend we ate, but I thought the three cheese would be good. And then um, I've been dipping it in... I just told you guys this on my stories on Instagram, so I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but... I know not everyone follows me on Instagram, so um, I've been dipping it in this Tessame's dressing, the Creamy Ranch, and it's made with dill, and it is so, so good. If you like dill, definitely try that out with your pizza. Look at this variety of almonds that I have. Alex and I are really into these, like, blue almond or blue diamond almonds. So we're trying all the different flavors. All of these are so, so good. You guys told me to pick up the wasabi and soy sauce. So I got that, and I love all of them. Um, another one that we really love is the salt and vinegar, but they were completely sold out. So these are like a really good little yummy snack. And then I also got some Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. I wanted the kettle corn, but they gave me the sea salt because they were out of kettle corn. And I picked these up, which are so good. The Unreal Dark Chocolate Almond Butter Cups. They're really yummy. Um... What else did I get? Oh, I got some Chex Mix. I am such a big fan of Chex Mix, you guys. Not sure if you knew that, but I love Chex Mix. So picked up a big bag of this. And then we had these pizzas too last weekend. We're like a big pizza family. We love pizza. So um, I wanted to share these too. If you can find these at your grocery store, they're really like easy. Um, all you do is throw some sauce on there and cheese and then top it with whatever you want. We just do cheese and sauce right now um, and throw them in the oven and it's a pack of two and these are really good. How is it? some berries you want some berries too I'm trying to get him to say mama I feel like he's so close um oh my god this bowl is massive you guys um I feel like he's so close to saying mama he's not quite there yet but I feel like he probably will soon and Cam's first word was ball which I think is hilarious because Cam is still so obsessed with balls and Quentin seems to really like them too, so Alex has been trying to get him to say ball so that they're, both their first word is ball. But I swear, I think he's gonna say mama first. This is like a huge mixing bowl that I just like freaking, it was filled to the top, you guys, like all the way up to here. Oh, not to mention, I feel like I'm all over the place with this vlog right now, but look at my nails. <laughs> like this is, I look like a clown, you guys. This is so bad, I need to take these off. You are getting so heavy. So heavy. All right, you gotta pick out something for you to wear, okay? And your drawer is a mess. Come over here, Quentin. <laughs> he loves crawling away from me and me chasing him. Come here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. What are you doing? No, don't eat your brother's food, honey. You're about to go to bed. I'm gonna eat that. Thing. You don't need Blue and Tommy to eat that. 
<laughs> Hello. What? I don't know. What have you been doing recently? Tell them that you're almost four. Um, almost four dollars. Um, when will someone say, "Oh, I'm almost four. When, mom, how can I talk to someone else on here? Well. I'm going to upload it on my YouTube channel and then they're going to watch the video and then they're going to comment. So tell them that you want them to comment below and leave you a message. Um, uh, will you help me say it? Yeah. Say, comment below and leave comment me a message. Comment below and leave me a message. Is that right? That's right. And then they'll leave comments for you and I can read them to you, okay? What? Wait, what are comments? Comments? <laughs> oh yeah, you probably don't know that. Comments are, they're going to write little messages to you on the computer. Are you excited for that? Yeah. This little guy just woke up from his nap, his second nap. First nap was so good. It was like over two hours. I think he really needed it too because we didn't have a great night last night. And then his second nap was one hour. So his bedtime is going to be around like 7.20, which I think is perfect. So we'll see how tonight goes. But he's teething right now, so um, I think that's why he's waking up so much throughout the night. But... I just did a try on haul for Instagram, which I'm posting on Friday, and I have a whole Target one that I need to film too, but it's so hard with the little ones to do try on hauls because it takes, like, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but it takes so long for, for at least me to film it because you have to, like, put all the clothes on, then film it, then change your clothes, make sure you have, like, you know, the right accessories on for the outfit. Oh, wait, honey, give me that. Um, it just takes me a while. And then I like to snap a pic in the app, in the outfit afterwards. So I'm going to try and do the Target one soon because I have really cute things like new arrivals at Target that um, I want you guys to be able to grab if, if you can before they sell out. Because I think the things that I got are definitely going to sell out. They're really cute for summer. Um, so I'm going to try and film that soon and get that up on Instagram. And this is actually one of the things I got from Target. Um, so so cute. I'm obsessed with this blue color. Quentin is eating my new sunglass case right now. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I love this like periwinkle blue and of course it's tie-dye, so super cute right now. And I'm a 90s girl at heart, so I love tie-dye, like always. I used to have a, um, when I was dating Alex, I had a driver's license picture with like a bright, bright colored tie-dye sweatshirt on. And I feel like my license always stuck out, so whenever someone would like check my ID, they would like look at me like, what? why are you wearing this? right but I wanted to show you guys you can't eat this honey some new sunglasses that I oh my god wow <laughs> it's okay it's okay I saved you I saved you it's okay he gets really upset and scared I just saved you that could have been really bad oh no 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 oh no 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 oh no 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 <laughs> you guys he loves the camera hey okay Okay, just be careful. I don't want you to fall, baby. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I have him sitting right in front of me now. Um, can I show them the sunglasses really quickly? I just got these in. I ordered them on Revolve. I'm not sure where else they sell these style of Ray-Bans, but they were sold out for a while. And finally, when they came back in stock, I grabbed them. Um, they're so cute. They're actually something that's like a little different. And they're square frames. I saw them on Courtney Shields. She's like one of my favorite bloggers. I talk about her all the time. But she wore them when she went to, I don't know, some like tropical vacation recently. Hi, honey. Hello. And I immediately went to go buy them and they were already sold out. So I want to show you guys them. They're so cute. I'm not sure if he's going to let me open. Okay, let me open these sunglasses real quick. Hold on. You can play with the case, okay? Okay, so that's what they look like. They are so cute, and I like how different they are than just the regular, like, aviator look. I love that they're square. I'm excited about these. I'll link them down below. Hopefully, they're in stock or I can find them, um, but I'll try and link them down below for you guys if you're interested. All right, I'm going to make a cold brew. It is a little past six, and I need to pick me up. So I'm going to use my favorite cold brew, which is the chameleon one, um, and this is just the black. And then I'm going to mix in a little bit of milk, 
and then this caramel coffee creamer which I did try this morning and it's really good I like it a lot I just realized I don't have any ice <laughs> because my freezer is so packed with food that there's literally no room for ice because we don't have like an ice machine so I just use those little trays and I usually just put them like down here and there's no room so I don't have any ice Okay, this is really good. This tastes like a Starbucks drink. It's a little too sweet. I think I put a little bit too much cream in there for my liking, but it definitely does taste like a Starbucks drink, so. It's been another one of those days that just feels like it's such a long day, and I just don't ever get like a break I can never like catch my breath you know what I mean I just cleaned up the kitchen I'm about to jump in the shower and then I have a few loads of laundry to fold but I've been sitting on the couch for a few days and I just need to fold them and get them put away honestly like I cannot wait until we can leave the house again because it's so hard to be like cooped up in the house all day and even though I'm like a work from home mom and like this is my daily life usually like we can still go out and run errands and like I can have my mom come over or I can like go over to my in-laws or like go to a friend's house or have play dates or go to the mall or I mean, you know what I mean just like live normal life and being quarantined I tell you like it's mentally freaking exhausting it is so mentally draining and like I wish that we had like a patio out back I wish that we just had like a patio with like a table and chairs that I could just like go sit out there while the boys played in the yard I mean I guess not Quentin yet but like while Camden ran around and played and like we don't have anywhere to sit like it's literally just grass like we don't have a patio or a deck or anything like that um, so it's like kind of hard to go play back there because I just have to kind of stand around like I can't even like sit down and like enjoy a beer you know what I mean We've had a few barbecues here. Like when we first moved into this house, we used to have parties and like barbecues and things like that. And like we would just move Alex's car out of the driveway and just like put, we have the grill in the driveway because our driveway goes like, our driveway is pretty long for our house. It goes all the way back to the garage, which is a separate garage. Like our garage is detached from our house. So the driveway goes, runs all the way back to the garage, which is behind our house. And so we used to just like set everything up, like table, chairs, grill and everything like in the driveway because it's the only like place that you could you know put stuff on but like we don't I mean it's just not um ideal if you know what I mean that's why like for the next house having like a patio or a deck or something like that is 100% a necessity and if it doesn't have it we're gonna build one on and we were going to with this house we just never got around to it we never did it and at this point it's like too late you know I just want to move and now it's even being held back again even though I'm you know searching for houses every single day but it's like who wants to go to an open house like no one wants to go to an open house you're not supposed to leave your house let alone start going to open houses so I'm just gonna have to wait for this whole thing to pass for us to really be able to like go start looking actively again but for now I'm still looking online <sighs> And we did plan to try and go down to North Carolina, um, you know, to like kind of just look around the area, but that's obviously not going to happen anytime soon either. So once again, here we are putting our moving plans like on hold. I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I think I'm done with my rant. Thanks for listening. Thanks for letting me vent to y'all. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below what video. That was the toaster oven. Let me know down below what videos you want to see from me. I am like running out of ideas and it's getting kind of boring for me to just like vlog my daily life in my house without being able to leave at all. I just feel like when I used to go run errands or, you know, go out, it cut up the vlog a little bit and made it a little bit more interesting. And I feel like these vlogs are going to start getting repetitive of me just like doing my thing in my house every single day. So I kind of want to do more like sit down videos, um, like more planned out routine videos. 
maybe like an updated nighttime routine, morning routine. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna clean. <laughs> maybe more Q and A's. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see aside from just like the regular daily vlog. Um, let me know down below so I can kind of like plan that out. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.